holy Shaolin Temple. I waited seven months. And it was almost worth the wait. Today we're gonna be talking about the Albino and Preto Riza action figure. So here we are seven months later. I pre-ordered this on Network and again, customer service was but I, I'm not even gonna get into how horrible it was. All I'm gonna say is I got zero updates, had to wait a long time. All my other friends that actually emailed and complained like I did, received discounts, received credits, received all types of stuff, and all received it first, I didn't. All right, that's enough about that. Network, man, y'all are not on my good side, but I doubt y'all even care anyway. The RZA and Albino and Preto, or Albino and Preto, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, did a collaboration where they released this action figure, the network app. And let me tell you, this thing is actually really dope, really detailed. The face sculpt is on point. The thing fully articulates and it comes with a whole bunch of goodies. I'm gonna start with this item right here, which is, it's like a sword. It's like some weird weapon that I don't know what it's called, but I recall seeing it on an old Wu-Tang Kung Fu flick. I, you know, one of them joints that used to come on on Sundays when I lived in New York. I just don't remember what what it's called. I remember, I don't think I ever knew what it was called other than, yo, this guy is beating somebody up with a sword-shaped statue. And it was pretty funky. I was like, yo, this is crazy. So he comes with one of those, right? And it comes with the stand or a base to put it in, which is super dope. And I'm not sure which way it goes. Maybe it goes like this that i'm not sure this thing doesn't actually come with instructions and uh i'm not gonna look at the network app and try to figure it out but it comes with this dope ass weapon comes with a bunch of hands that you could change if you want to change i'm not going to recommend doing it because i tried a piece popped off i almost lost it and it was really hard to get the hand or change the hand and you know i if I had to do it all over, I would just leave it as is. This thing fully articulates. I'm talking about everywhere. Knees, ankles, hips, wrists, elbows, shoulders, neck, this whole thing. Like, I mean, this thing fully articulates and you could pose it however you want. It comes with the stand and comes with the base. The Komodo, the Kimono, Kimono, not Kimono. The Kimono has a whole bunch of Wu-Tang Easter eggs. Well, not really Easter eggs because they're pretty obvious, but it has a whole bunch of like Wu-Tang shout outs. On the right side, it says protect your neck. On the left, it has a classic Wu-Tang W. On the left-hand side, it says Shaolin going down the sleeve. And then it has the AP, which is for Albino and Preto. On the back has the Wu-Tang logo from, I think I remember first seeing this version on Wu-Tang forever. And underneath it says, Bring the ruckus has a couple woo hits on the legs now something else that it came with is this now i'm assuming this is a bed of nails that the rizzo would sleep on if you ever wanted to display it like that can't really see what else this is nor do i remember since i bought this thing seven months ago but hey it's another dope little piece and if you're into displaying things like i'm into displaying things all these little knickknacks make all the difference by the way this is not the first Riza action figure. The first one which I covered was a G.I. Joe action figure where the Riza played the blind master and that was a figure release. So technically this is the second Riza figure, although this one is a lot doper. Another super dope thing is the packaging. This thing came packaged in a giant cassette tape. Literally, now mind you, it's not gonna open right, but this is how it, boom, it opens up just like a cassette. It's shaped like an overgrown cassette. I mean, this thing is super dope. The one complaint about the packaging, and it's not really a complaint, it's more like a creative criticism, kind of follow through with having the design go all the way around rather than just foam. But, you know, if you have this on a bookshelf, it'll sit really, really nice next to your books. This figure retailed for $270, or I paid $273.45. Not sure what the resale is for this because everyone just got theirs this week or last week and i just got mine today so i'm gonna have to go check up on ebay and see what they're going for i would assume that these things would fetch a pretty penny maybe i'm just a giant wu-tang fan all in all this figure gets a solid nine i've never actually rated anything on this show 
I might not even start after this, but yo, this thing, this guy, the RZA, my Mizza, man, is definitely up there. I don't think I'll ever be able to sell this one. And so far, that brings my Wu Tang action figure collection to. I got Method Man, I got Raekwon, Ghostface, Inspect the Deck, the RZA, ODB. I'm really missing like three more figures, right? I'm missing the Jizza, Master Killer. And who else am I missing? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'm tired and I just was in a rush to get this review. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if I missed anything. If you have anything to add to the conversation or simply want to be like, yo, this thing is dope. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Peace.